I like sharing good news. These people came here in October. Hi, Avi. I just wanted to let you know that because of your guidance, Baruch Hashem, our daughter broke up with. She was dating somebody who they very much did not want to uh, to be dating their daughter to the extent that before coming to me, their other option was hiring a hitman. And make sure you're nice to them because they still have the deposit there. I'm like, really? This is still happening in this generation? Well, no. When I, they weren't gonna, they're not going to kill him. Just break his legs and stuff. Oh, just a coma? Interesting. Okay, so we tried it my way. She broke up with him. He has tried to get in touch with her, but she realized this wasn't what she wanted and told him just that. They were really, she was stuck with them. She was living in his house. They wanted to get married, okay? She's Shemir Shabbos. She looks forward to Friday night because of what you taught us. The only people who changed were us because of you. Thank you. The applause goes to them. The applause goes to them that by them just doing this, their daughter who is Machal Shabbos, within a year now, is Shemir Shabbos, home, Happy from, and where's the guy? Bye-bye. We had uh, another family that came to me that their daughter was abducted. Legally, it's considered an abduction. She was 16 and a half, and the guy, he was an ex Hasidish guy who liked her, was 24. And uh, he was taking her over state lines from this. So could, that's it. Put him in jail, kill him. The family was here. The kids were all up in arms. A bunch of brothers, tough Israeli guys. We're going to kill him. We're going to throw him in jail. We're gonna, I said, yeah, let's try this my way. Okay? Within a short period of time. If we're there for our kids, Be'ezer Hashem, on their own, they want to be like us. They get that seichel that we wanted. We're telling the other parents are screaming, don't you realize this is the worst thing from you? How could you do this? And deaf, they don't hear it. They can't. We give them the medicine of nafshik shura benafshay. We give them the medicine of, of real parents. And on their own, they start realizing, you know, not for me. I had parents that were here that their daughter was the main girlfriend of a gang leader. If I, if I could tell you, I can't tell you, but if I could tell you who her great-grandfather was, you would fall off your chairs. One of the mamish, like, holiest of the generation, like, like of the of previous generation. You can't imagine. And this girl is the main girlfriend of this guy who's a, a murderer. And she would disappear. She didn't give her location. This went off for a year or two. And then they called. It was the middle of the summer. They got a text from her, 4.30 in the morning, picked me up, gave an address. Don't, don't come out of your cars. They said they went to this like location. It was in Brooklyn, but they said it was like a different country. And there was a building which had no windows. There were fires inside. They saw guys running around with like these machetes and stuff like that. She came running out, jumped into the car, out, that they shouldn't be able to follow her. That was that. It took like almost two years to get her extracted from there. Then she got clean, sober, married to a Jewish boy. Miracles. And who changed? What method? What did, what, where did she go? You guys are, are the catalyst. You are the saviors. You have to save your children. And for all of the, you heroes working with children, it's hel- helpful to have the parents. It's a lot more work for you, but it's up to you. Okay, Baruch Hashem.